to the Empower Me Show with Pam Bright. This show is all about honoring you as a spiritual being, having a human experience. You are here for a reason, and it's no mistake that you are here on Earth right now. Spirit has guided you to this very moment in time, so you could hear the messages Pam is about to share with you. She is a multi-dimensional healer, light language channel, transformation coach, wife and mother, committed to helping you discover the tools and practices to empower you to live the best life you can. You get to choose the spirit path you take. You can connect to the spiritual guidance already all around you. Get ready to live a fully empowered life. This is the Empower Me Show. Welcome back. I'm Pam Bright. I'm your hostess for today. This is the Empower Me Show with Pam Bright, and I am here to speak to you about light language channeling, energy transmissions, and healing and centering for 2022. Welcome, welcome. It is January 6th, 2022. I don't know about you, but it kind of feels surreal this time around this year. Um, it's really been uh, quite a fast track um, bounding into this new year um, with all kinds of interesting energies <laughs> to, uh, to perpetuate us forward. So uh, what would be best for me personally here as your hostess is to ground and to get centered and hopefully you are in a place where you can do that as well to just really be able to absorb our time together and learn who we are and what we're about in a more calm and centered place. So if you would please get yourself a glass of water if you need, um, let go of any distractions that are around you so that you can just be here now, that would be helpful. If you need to be doing something that con is concentrating for you, uh, that you need your focus, just go ahead and listen to my voice and stay focused on what you need to and know that you will receive exactly what you need in the moments that you need it. So as I center into my own well-being and in my own center of who I am, I call upon mother father god my guidance all of my guides teachers and angels all of my master teams that help me in my day-to-day -day life as well as my work life with bright butterfly enterprises i ask the butterfly fountain team to take care of my well-being I ask the Empower Me Show, Transformation Talk Radio, and Bright Butterfly Enterprises to work together as a team to assist in these transmissions for you, the listeners, and all of humanity. And we ask the beings of light from every galaxy, every planet, every star system to come into this now, into this moment in time, and assist us in remembering who we are as spiritual beings having human experiences. And we ask that the Mother Earth Gaia herself assist us in grounding our energies into our physical selves so that we can walk the earth with grace and power and a surety of oneness with all of who we are and all of who the world is. Hey, Nana. Hey, hi, Nahi. I'm 
asking the Pleiadians now to come in full force and hold the energy of this transmission and this episode for those beings of light that are here in physical human form and assist all of those beings of light that are in the astral plane and the star systems from this universe and beyond. Maya Henaya Kulatane Yo Manaye Hunahiye Bakaleche Namaye Balatariye Kuma the Arcturians also want to be present in this now moment with you. Thank you for coming in. The blue beings also came in as well to assist in your well being. Thank you, thank you, thank you, all of you. We ask now that the pillar of light, the light that connects the cosmos, the galaxies, the universes, all the way to us as human beings here on the planet Earth and Gaia herself, we thank this pillar of light that comes in and secures us in these bodies so that we can do the work that we're here to do in this moment. We ask that light to strengthen and expand to include our entire bodies now. Just feel that light coming up through your feet through your legs, up into your torso. Filling up your arms and your fingers. Up into your head, your throat, your ears, your neck, your eyes, all of your head. And then going out to connect to all of the star systems and all of the other humans that you connect to in this lifetime. And also those beings that you have been connected to in the past. And those that you will connect to in the future. We are multidimensional beings. And we are here and available in human form to expand in all of who we are, to all of who we are in every dimension. Tena kale kekeru atayetu na dete ua. Ane na na ye ke na ma e umane nu na ya ye. For those of you who may not have heard light language, this is light language that's coming through. I ask you to set aside your judgment and simply listen with your inner ears, with your heart, with your soul and with all of your psyche. Letting go of the logical mind that thinks it has to figure it out and just allow yourself to experience this energetic transmission. Nana yeta yetu ala ke wa ta yetu abaye wa yara ala ye wa la awe a e nana 
Hone sanayi keyasa. And as you breathe in, bring all of your consciousness into your solar plexus. This is the power center where you live. And allow yourself to be well, to claim your health, to claim that all is in divine right order in this moment. And so it is. And slowly open your eyes and come back. Welcome back to this moment in time. Thank you so much for being here. So as I said, this is January 6th, 2022. And I just want to give some foundation of where we're at energetically and what may be up for you in this moment in time. So for me, as a human being, <laughs> It's been very kind of crazy in this January um, up until this point. Um, and that's just my life. That's kind of what's happening on the outside of me. Um, although all the things around me affect me as a human being and my well being. So, um, not that it's about that, but it's important to presence it. So, one of the big things in my life is connecting and learning how to connect with family members who are dealing with aging and dealing with this disease called Alzheimer's. Some people called it, call it the old folks disease. Not everyone has this disease, but it is paramount in on the planet right now. And so it's important for me to state that simply because it's what's so and simply to say that we, as conscious beings of light, have the ability to connect to all people at all times in any dimension, whether they are currently living or they have passed on. So know that energetically, you are able as a being who has chosen to be in physical form you have the ability to connect to anyone that you choose to connect to and i recommend highly that you connect to those that you love because this is the time to do that while you're still here in physical form on the planet in whatever place you're at physically and also in your physical health, you can still love, you can still connect, you can still have compassion, you can still have peace. You can still allow yourself to expand and explore and be curious about what's so. We in Washington state dealt with snow after Christmas and we just, it just left, we think. So we've been dealing with, you know, really dealing with trying to get around and, you know, staying home and all that good stuff and having kids that are, you know, haven't been able to get back to school until now. We're dealing with this crazy, crazy virus that's running rampant all over the planet with a whole bunch of people. So that's just a what's so on the planet for us collectively as a species called humanity. And what I also know about that is that you as a human being are at choice about how you respond to every single situation in your life. So I encourage you to take pause in your automatic reactions, in your judgments, in your you're wanting to react to life and other people and just take an opportunity to breathe and to step back and look within 
Because you know, they say that whenever we're doing this and pointing outward, we've got three fingers pointing back. That's what's really in the forefront of my mind right now is what are we doing to take responsibility for our own lives? Since this is January 6th, I just found out that uh, politically, this was a big day last year, that I'm not gonna go into that with you, but I'll just say that a lot of people are up in arms about what happened last year at this time and are feel, still feeling the effects of that political agenda, that political stuff that happened that caused havoc in the Capitol. So once again, today is a new day. You are at choice. I invite you to allow yourself to be at choice in this first week of a new year. <laughs> this is a brand new year, 2022. This is a six year. So what that means for us is that we get to look at family and connections and nurturing of ourselves and other people and our loved ones. We get to look at what is the most important for us to do today? What is the most important thing for you to do today? Who do you want to be today? Did you know that you have a choice in who you are? As you examine your insides, ask yourself that question, who am I ready to be today? Who am I ready to be? So I have the lion up here as my totem for the year um, and the card that I chose for this year, or it chose me rather, <laughs> It's called, it's a strength card. So we're looking at how to bring my lioness, my lion out into the world and be roar goodness, roar sympathy, roar empathy, roar compassion, roar the truth of who I know myself and you to be. This show, the Empower Me show, is all about how to claim the power that is available to you individually and you collectively with other people on this planet earth there's over 7 billion people that are alive here i can't even fathom that number it's a lot of people some people i will never meet physically but they're here with me to have this human experience. So how can I energetically connect to them and let them know that I love them unconditionally because they are here with me on this planet to have this amazing experience? How can I connect with them energetically so that they know that if they need something from themselves or anyone else, that it's up to them to ask. I can send that message out into the cosmos. <laughs> I can send it by angel, ask one of my angels to send that message to them. I can speak to the trees. I can sing to the waters. I can walk the earth and with my feet feel her love for me. Those are all possible because I'm here on this planet now. You can too. So I'm gonna do something for us. I have this lovely card deck I'll show you. So hopefully you can see that. This is the Beyond Lemuria deck that I got. And I have many of these different cards that I choose or they choose me. <laughs> to be assisting us with really deepening who we are. So this particular episode, the language of light episode and energy transmission episode is for that purpose. 
to energetically just expand our experience of who we are and what we're about and explore. So what do you want to explore today? Do you have a question? If you have a question for me, go ahead and put it in the chat. Uh, you can call and I'll talk to you on the, on the phone line. Uh, you can ask me on the empower me show at gmail.com. I know I do have one request from that website to do transmission for Francie, and I will do that in a little bit. But first, I'm going to choose a card for you to contemplate on in this time. For January 6th, 2022, the first week of January, first month of the year, brand new beginning. We have alignment. Ha ha ha. Alignment for you for 2022. That's great. So I will bring this up so that you can see it. It, it looks to me like it. Wow. I see an owl in there. I see wings. So I see a lot of angelic um, energy. I also see. Um, Wow, there's some dolphins in there. There's all kinds. Oh, and the dragonfly. The dolphins, the dolphins help us remember that joy. We can tap into our joy at any time. Joy is not something that we have to have an experience in order to experience it. Like we have to have something outside of ourselves to find joy. We can actually find joy in this moment. So if you just tap into that inner world that you're in right now, just go ahead and tap into your heart. You might actually want to tap a little bit, especially if you're feeling a little sluggish in your heart, a little numb maybe, maybe you've got a little fear going on. Just go ahead and tap a little bit. Tapping is helpful to kind of awaken what's there. So Tap into that heart space and see if, feel if, huh, you can tap into any joy that's hiding out there. So I'm seeing this beautiful red in the heart and pink. So you might want to see that heart shape of that heart symbol and tap in and see if there's any people, maybe any family members or friends or loved ones that are just kind of finding themselves there in your heart. Connect in with them and ask them if there is a message that you would like to give them right now or that they would like to give you. Just take a moment and do that. And allow yourself to feel that. And I'm gonna send a message out right now to my dad, my dad, my dear dad, Gerald by Jerry. <laughs> Daddy by. He is in Mountain View Hospital in Las Vegas, Nevada. He's on oxygen because he's got pneumonia with COVID. Now, this is a man who's 87 years old and has been had his vaccination and he's been had a booster shot as well. I think several booster shots. So this virus, guys, is real, even though you don't believe it, some of you. It's real, and it is affecting people by the masses. So again, we're not going to get into judgment about that. I don't have any agenda with that. I simply wanted to state what's so from my soul to, to your soul. And I want to send a message to my dad who is in the hospital being treated very well for this, for these diseases, whatever's going on for him energetically. And as a soul, we know that he is choosing 
to either stay because he's got more work to do here, more of his mission to accomplish, or he's going to make a choice on a soul level to leave, but it is up to him and his process. But I want to send a message to him that I love him. I am here for him. And I give my consent, not that it's up to me, but I give my consent and my and my help energetically, etherically to assist him in his choice on his journey whatever he chooses and we will stay connected as much as we can in this moment in time tena ke u kukula teasa ke u kala ke sana yeika now i'm just visioning my dad and you can do this too if you want to bring your loved one into this moment someone that you care about that you want to send a message to just bring their face or their bodies right here in this moment and feel that you can bring your hands together and just hold them or maybe they're here in your heart or your solar plexus just go ahead and feel them we also ask that the energy of love and light go to every one of the doctors and nurses and staff in really all of the hospitals around the world that are working so diligently and so committed to solution for all of these beautiful people that are in their hospitals we ask that each of them receive this blessing as well na na ye ki ya he u hu a hi 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 na hi na ya he a la ye hi a ya hu hu na na ma hi ma hi hi o de we now place a grid of light and love in every hospital on this planet earth and we ask that this grid expand out to every person, every patient, every staff member, every doctor, nurse, lab technician on this planet Earth. And we ask that you be guided to exactly what you need in this moment in time, knowing that all is in divine perfection. Who ta ta we. Thank you, angels. Just go ahead and take a couple nice deep breaths and come back again to this moment in time. Bringing all of who you are into your body system. This is your home. This is your sanctuary. This is your temple.
Welcome back, guys. So we ne I never know how things are going to go on this particular episode. I'm always guided profoundly by the spirits that guide me and guide you. So thank you. Another thing I want to let you know is that if you would like a specific message from your guides, uh, it, it can come through to you. So just ask. Uh, there is a phone number that you can call in and ask for that, or you can write in to Transformation Talk Radio to the chat that comes up on your screen, or you can contact me by uh, the Empower Me Show at gmail.com, and I will accommodate you as much as I can. So we are already half <laughs> halfway through this episode, and um, I think it's time for me to take a little break and come back go ahead and get some water for yourself water is your conduit for allowing the energetic transmissions that come through to align with your body system and with the earth plane so that you get the electrolytes that you need the crystalline energy that you need and really ground you in the well-being of who you are so we'll be right back and i look forward to giving you more Welcome back. You are listening to the Empower Me Show with Pam Bright. I am Pam Bright. I am your hostess for this show. And this is your language of light, energy, transmission, and healing show. This is where I allow the spirits that work through me to come to you and assist you in your well being and your spiritual journey. Um, and they're always different. I never know what's going to show up because I allow myself to be open to the experience and I invite you to do the same. The energies know what the energies are doing. That's what I always tell people. So when we, when I, and I invite you to do the same, to just surrender and trust the process, miracles show up in, a, in your space. Um, something I want to share with you is this little beauty here. This is my very first crystal that I ever got. And I'll tell you the story of this little beauty. This is a quartz crystal. And she is a, I don't remember what she's called, but she's got a little friend attached to her on the side here. So it's like her baby. <laughs> um, I think of her as a mother crystal. And she is, the, as I said, the first crystal that came to me. I'd never seen a crystal before. I was in a woman's house that was my counselor at the time who actually introduced me to uh, spirituality in a new way that I'd never experienced before. When I first saw these crystals that she had, I was like, what is that stuff? That's so cool. It was brilliant. It was shining. It was sparkly. It was like my whole being lit up. It was very similar to when I received light lamp language was like I'd never experienced anything like that before even though I had been a singer for a long time this crystal has been with me since probably 1984 82 something like that but she walks with me all the time and she is I brought her out because she's the first and today is really about new beginnings new beginnings the new year the first week of January, um, life seems to be like it's in a bit of a turmoil already this year. So I've done a lot with alignment. We've got our alignment card here because this is all about you aligning with who you are at the core and knowing what is true for you. And only you know that. There's all kinds of people that will tell you what to do and how to be. But ultimately, it's up to you to assess that for yourself. So I'm going to do a little bit of transmitting for a couple beautiful people that I know. And um, one person has writ wrote, written in that they really want a message for themselves, just whatever is appropriate for them and their, their family and their loved ones. And her name is Francie. So I will send this out to you now, Francie, knowing that whatever comes through for you comes through for everybody else too. So if it 
resonates in your own body system as I transmit for fancy, please allow yourself to receive it in the love and light that it's given in. So we now connect to Francie's guides, teachers, and angels, all of her spirit team, all of the critters of the forest and the land, the waters, the birds of the air, the creepy crawlies, the tree people, all of the rocks of the earth, the crystal beings, and all, every human that connects with Francie and her family, we now ask them to connect as well into this transmission. And we ask that any information, any messages, any light codes that want to come through me for her, come through now. So, so immediately, Francie, I'm seeing an owl. <laughs> the owl is the one of the messengers. He's a messenger of the night. Mostly they're they 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 are I think they're very awake at night. I think they're and I think you are too. My my sense about you is that you like the night. Um, but they are definitely um, the messengers. The hawks are messengers as well. So you might find a lot of hawk feathers um, as you're walking your, your path. Anytime you find a feather, you know that it's a sign from the beings that have presented themselves to you for your, for your well-being. The birds of the air help you remember to fly. Fly and be free. Allow yourself to be free. Allow yourself to be in the experience of the earth, connecting to the earth. You chose to be here now at this time. There's nowhere else to be except right here, right now in this moment. Naki de du uku na macheche zanaki na naiki. No ye kashanaki samala chenche zanamiki. Keunga nagi samai neku. Kanike shu shu nasi na maike. Kalechena laki na maese na maie. Hu tasane ke 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 naki na ya ya. So I keep hearing, Francie, that there's nowhere else you need to be. There's nowhere to get to. There's nothing else you need to know. You simply get to receive. That's the message. It's all in perfection. Allow yourself to be in that moment. We're also, thank you very much, Francie. We're going to disconnect from you now. Let you be having that experience. I'm going to get a little water. All right. So I'm very aware of the stress that many, 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 many people are going through right now. So we're gonna speak into that. And any of you that are here on this call right now in this transmission that are feeling stress in whatever form it is coming in, it, whether it's physically an illness or tension in your, in your body, or relationships, strain on relationships. We ask that all beings of light that work with stress now come in fully in this moment and speak into the stress on the planet. Speak into these systems that are breaking down that need to be broken down because they are done, they're complete. They're ready for new systems to be put in place. 
it is not time yet for new systems to come aboard. <laughs> We're in the in-between, folks. And it is the most uncomfortable place to be for a lot of people. This is what's causing a lot of your stress. So know that it's all divine perfection in this moment. Things need to break down in order to be built new. So we speak right into that space. All right, so all of the platonic solids are coming in now to remind us of the sacred geometric shapes that exist on this planet to teach us about who we are and what we are here to do. They are forms that will give us life and they come to us in different ways to different people. Allow yourself to receive them and expand and explore in whatever capacity that looks like. You may be a builder, you may be a, an artist, you may be a crafter, you may be a visioner who sees images to send to other people. Allow those platonic solids to just gift themselves to you in whatever form they come in. Aneke namaki ikimanaye kika aneki ase kikina aki aki kena sanaki akaye. We ask the sacred vortexes to teach us how to release and let go of everything that we are holding on to to allow for the exploration and the creation of the new forms. We allow ourselves to learn how to deal with our own stress in our own life with grace and ease and expansion and power. We ask that those of you who are not connected to your guides, teachers, and angels on a conscious level, now say yes to making that choice. Your guides hear you, they will respond. Just say out loud, yes, I accept your help now. Aneka anaki anaki a ina ika eta nda ike undena eki se na maye hule she na maye. We know that all is in divine right order, perfect, whole, and completeness. You, as a spiritual being of light in a human body, are always guided in every moment in time and every second of your life. Know that. Trust that. Ask for help always. It will come. Be open and willing to receive. Do he to da he adama? He anana ye he nana. He nama he ake anana me. 
kaya rahi na na ye kia kia te hiya mama and once again take a nice deep breath in feel yourself grounded in your body feeling yourself fully in A way to help yourself ground is to put one hand on the top of your head and one hand on your solar plexus. And as you breathe in, you feel the earth energy coming up through your feet and allow it to come all the way up into your body and all the way up the top of your head and all the way back down. And you can do this a little bit to just release out what no longer serves you anymore. And come back to this moment and you're back. Welcome back. So I have a couple minutes left. Any of you who need or want or think that you're not sure <laughs> about receiving support, try it out, try it out, okay? You don't have to be alone ever. Um, even if you live alone, you don't have to be alone. There's always, 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 always available support for you. Pick up a book, say a prayer, connect to music, call a friend, uh, connect in with your dog or your cat your bird, your pigeon, your rabbit, whatever it is that you connect to, <laughs> you know, your kids know that you are always supported in every moment. And if you want specific support for your energetic alignment this year, your spiritual path, your light language, if that's something that calls you, your energetic being, then contact me, please, at brightbutterflyenterprises.com or the empower me show at gmail.com. I'm always here for you in every moment. If I am not available in the moment, I'll let you know, but I will get back to you. So contact me for any reason. If you're interested in being on the show, absolutely let me know that too, because I have four different sections throughout a week or th throughout a month, excuse me, some months we have five weeks. I don't know about January. I can't think that way right now. There might be five, um, but there's always four for sure. Each week has a theme. This was the light, light language show theme. Next week, we'll be choosing your empowered life. The following week, we talk about the full body wellness system. The next week after that, we talk about Spirit Partners for Life, where I bring my husband in, and we talk about how do we make partnerships sacred? How do we do that in this world? And then that fifth week is always about something special. So whatever special energies we want to bring in that might be a specific topic, we'll bring that in, um, whatever Spirit says we're going to do, we do. So know that this show is for you as an individual who is on a spiritual path. So if you have an idea about something that you want to explore and you want me to do that with you, then let me know that this is something that you haven't heard yet, that you want to explore. Um, if you want a program or an individual session, definitely let's look at that. We'll have a conversation and we'll get you the support that you need. Okay, there's always support available to you. You don't have to do, live life, live life by yourself. You don't have to be a secret. Healing is available at all the time in every moment. I absolutely love you and you are doing a great job. <laughs> this is not an easy path, this thing called being a human. But remember, you chose that this time around. You've chosen to be a human. So let's do it together. Let's create synergy. Let's create 
a world that works. Let's create systems that work with other systems. I'm really all about that is workability. And we had definitely have had some systems on our planet that don't work well. You know it and I know it. And you know, last couple of years we've seen it happen that way. So they're falling apart and they need to, and new systems are coming on board. We just need to be patient and allow ourselves to be in the experience. So if you ever need anything, know that we're here at Transformation Talk Radio for you. And I'm here for you at Bright Butterfly Enterprises. And you can contact me at the Empower Me Show at gmail.com. My husband, David Buck, is my co-host. And so he is also available to you if you want a male perspective to share with and get some feedback. Know that any subject is a possibility for a conversation here. Um, I will not go into anything political on this particular show. That's not what I'm about. Um, I think it's important for those that feel like it's important to them. And you can explore that if you need to. But I'm not going to be the one to point fingers. I'm not going to be the one to um, get into a debate. This is simply a show for you to explore, explore and be curious about what possibilities might be available for you. So that's about it. Um, I want to show you here Mother Mary, who is holding some roses. They are the roses of compassion. She's also here for you as a a guide. Sometime maybe on this show, I will let her speak through me for you. Um, Leo the lion um, is always available to connect in with. Anytime that you think of animals, they are your guides as well. So you can speak to them. You can write to them. You can ask them questions. You can ask for their feedback. Um, you can give them your love and attention. You know, whatever you need. I mentioned at the beginning of this particular broadcast that uh, January especially today, the number six is about family and nurturing. So really look at your family system. Look and see, is it working? Is it not working? Does it need to be changed? Do I need to have a conversation that I haven't had in a while? Am I feeling lack? Am I feeling disconnected? Am I feeling like there's something missing. This is the time. This is the time to hunker down like the bear hunkers down for the winter. This is the time to do that and to get really comfortable in self-care. What's your self-care step for today? How can you be your own champion? your own cheerleader in your own life. Let's do it together. Let's create a life that works. I love you. I adore you. You're awesome. <laughs> and I can't wait to connect to you next week. And I think we are just about out of time. So I am going to say adios. I love you guys. And I will talk to you next week. Thank you for listening to the Empower Me Show with Pam Bright on Transformation Talk Radio. Tune in to learn more about living a fully empowered life. Remember that your life is up to you and you can choose the spiritual path you are on. There is spiritual energy and wisdom in everything and everyone around you. Listen carefully for what the universe is trying to tell you in every moment. You are already being guided along your journey. 
call upon your spirit guides anytime you need help with anything. Know that you are safe in every moment, even if it seems that you are not. For more information about Pam Bright, visit brightbutterflyenterprises.com or email theempowermeshow at gmail.com. Thank you very much for listening. We hope to see you next week.